I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better <laughs> get going, or we won't hear the end of it. You're damn right. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. All coming from your genes, buddy. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh, sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? I well, build I need a, a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Okay. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right, well, uh, let's go talk to, uh, people. <laughs> Actually, let's go talk to this lady first. Might be a good idea. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of taste. Hey there, girls. You actually look relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's <laughs> peaceful here, huh? Uh, what do you do? Um, how's the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then you I can't, can't go take home away tomorrow, the you stupid. The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before it's you just knew about all of this? Just a small case of Ebola. Uh, who would? Anybody in their right mind would. I want them to think that I wasn't going to prison. Because <laughs> I don't know much about why he was going to prison, but there was definitely a reason why he was in that cop car. And I definitely didn't want to tell Herschel that we hurt our leg in a car accident because they didn't so, uh, like, well, who are you with? What do you do? Corpses aren't walking around. Start asking all these I'm questions. I figured, well, I did jump a fence. My little sad jump here, Except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess let's go talk to uh, good old Kenny boy over here. Kenny McCormick. Um. <laughs> hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No kids. I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. What's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could 
hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Okay. How's your son How's doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna face nothing. us. <laughs> See? I highly doubt that. Um, okay. Is showing an interest in his family a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Sounds like a bad thing. Go over here. Walking's a little weird. Let's talk to Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> okay. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. You, you just started cutting down. The, you're not even measuring. My dad doesn't know how bad it, it is. It doesn't even have lines on it, dude. No. You're, <laughs> you're just cutting. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill you're a terrible. kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Sometimes you gotta... Bam. I'll make them act oh, like shit, I care. Dad. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta you do, man. You hesitate. You know what I'm saying? You just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh. Um. I bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence You're built. Right, he won't Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My parents are in Macon with my brother. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okay, well, let's go uh, talk to your father, huh? Might be a good bueno idea. Very bueno. <laughs> You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Dude, I'm gonna punch you in the throat. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. You're damn right it is. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. I don't like you. Never was a plan you in the having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, my parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was looking for help in her house. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar and fast. Dude, I will Jimmy Jack Let's the shit out of you. things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. 
And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. That's what oh, I tried to do, I but now you're prying like a little friend. bastard. Oh lord. <laughs> that didn't sound good. Go! I'll get my gun. That did not sound good at all. Shot like three. I <laughs> think like, pump shotgun didn't even pump it. Inaccuracy, I don't like. Is you man? Jelly, jelly man. Get the fuck out of here! Is you mad? <laughs> or not? Sorry. Ha 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 ha. You mad? You don't get to be sorry. And you. You didn't even try to help. Herschel is a bitch. Thought I could help them both. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You saw it wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! I really just want to suplex you into that tractor. Like, I'm... Like... <laughs> can't... It, like... Suplex should be an option. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Okay, well, um, guess we're going to make it. <laughs> Cherokee hardware, Cherokee. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Yeah, that's not. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! We're trapped! Ah! No! 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 Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Okay. And we let them. We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like yeah, helping you people. Of shit. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he. Or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? I'm gonna choke you, for real. I'm gonna strangle you to death. What is it? 
I, I have to pee. Uh, I'm in a minute. There again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out She's not a leader. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Yo, For what is your problem, God? We'll dig one Why does your chin look retarded? No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Um, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm reason down. Reason with him. We reason with him. At the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They what will is your find problem, us, yeah. And they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. What upsetting if it was your girl? Eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Deal then, with it. there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You I'm better have a plan Jimmy to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. Well, Clementine definitely don't have to pee anymore. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. That don't sound good. They're gonna get in. Shut up. <clears throat> I really want to knock that old man out. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was uh, uh, good. Yeah. Ah, ah. Was he the one bitten? Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? I was hoping, would yes, he ask if he was out. the one bitten with more, We've been trying more, to get um, into the pharmacy since we got here. More, uh, Please try to more get in of there. a, um... Behind the counter where the pills are. Dickish sort of way. Through the office. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, 
Educated guess. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, that'd be great. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting we should, your medicine. We should go over there and kick That's him in right. the throat. And you? You keep an eye on that Be front door. Dick. You're our lookout. It's Doug. Show that old man got his it. balls. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. This is the apocalypse. For now, get some rest. You're a good <laughs> shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Alright. Let's go. Let's uh, walk around a little bit. Newspaper. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. It's just like Fallout, man. We gotta fix the radio. Um, flip the radio over. Oh, battery door. There's not even batteries in it, you stupid. There's no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You're yeah. so stupid. I try to find some. Freaking Beats white too. people. Thanks. I wouldn't These even really know what to look for. upper middle class white people. Just, uh... Awful. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Uh, uh, um, not now. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Yeah, we'll do that later. Let's check out the rest of the store. Um, photographs. Okay. Greeting cards, yes. Gotta see if they're funny, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be one hell of a card. Ooh, a battery. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Okay, well, we got that battery. Definitely need that. Newspaper clippings? I don't remember them very well. You don't remember them very well? What are you talking about? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's all melted now. <laughs> Let's talk to Kenny. Hey, Lee. <clears throat> really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys alright? Are you guys alright? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They own this place. The hell? Did they own this place? I'm gonna say that. They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah. Because he said they didn't remember them on the wall. I was like, what the hell? Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. 
Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that no, we boy. Didn't. Quit being a we didn't. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. <sighs> Console. Try to let it go. Damn right, Kenny better remember my loyalty. I didn't save his kid. I protected his kid from freaking Jay Leno and freaking uh, the Trinity Killer from Dexter's Butt Baby. <laughs> I can't remember the actor's How name. Can I, with those I know the character's name was Arthur Mitchell. Um, <laughs> let's talk to Clem. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I get you anything? Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. We should get to know each other. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. Okay, well, um... Examine the food box. Is there anything in here? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Okay. Well, I got some batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Um, let's see, there's an ATM, energy bar, everything okay? I meant to give her the energy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Damn right I took care of Clementine. <clears throat> She's cool. <laughs> um, let's talk to uh, Lily. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. Maybe your dad shouldn't be a stupid bitch. Dad. You shut no. your mouth. I'll, I'll friggin' Ray Rice the shit out of you. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Um. He's got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We got kids here. Families. Or... Never mind, I'm sure he's a good guy. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. <laughs> Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. <clears throat> Was anyone here when you guys got the pharmacy? 
Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Well, that's not good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Uh, what do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay, well, um... Let's go inside the office, shall we? Thank you. 